Medusa is usually portrayed as a monster. An examination of her story shows she was really a victim. In Greek mythology, Medusa is one of the three monstrous Gorgon sisters known for her snaky locks and petrifying gaze. However, her backstory is often overlooked or simplified. A deeper examination of Medusa's myth reveals that she was as much a victim of the gods' whims as she was a legendary monster. Her cruel fate was sealed not by any fault or action of her own, but due to the transgressions committed against her. According to the original telling of the myth, Medusa was born a ravishingly beautiful mortal maiden. She served as a virtuous priestess in Athena's temple, renowned for her exquisite comeliness and dutiful piety. One day, Poseidon entered the temple and was overcome by lust at the sight of Medusa. Disregarding both her wishes and the sanctity of Athena's holy ground, Poseidon forced himself upon the defenseless priestess, violating her in the very heart of the temple. Though innocent, Medusa was left devastated by the violation both of body and spirit. Some narratives attempt to blame Medusa for this action. They claim she was seduced and made a decision to have sex with Poseidon. Yet, it is unclear how a mortal woman could turn down a god. This rarely if ever worked for women seduced by Zeus or men seduced by Aphrodite. Medusa was in no position to say no. The discovery that Medusa had been violated ignited an unprecedented wrath within Athena. The goddess of wisdom in war, known for her strategic thinking and strong principles, was consumed by fury at the desecration. Despite knowing that Poseidon, a fellow member of the Olympian pantheon, was the true culprit behind this sacrilege, Athena chose not to direct her anger towards him. In a surprising twist of events, Athena diverted her rage towards Medusa herself an innocent victim caught in the web of divine politics. Without hesitation or remorse, she unleashed her formidable powers upon Medusa as retribution for a crime she did not commit. In one fell swoop, Athena transformed the once lustrous locks adorning Medusa's head into writhing serpents. Their slithering presence now serving as a constant reminder of her punishment. Yet it was not just her appearance that suffered under Athena's curse. It was also those unfortunate souls who gazed upon poor Medusa. Her visage became so ghastly and terrifying that any mortal or deity who dared lay eyes on her would be instantly turned to stone frozen forever in their last moment of terror. This cruel fate served as a testament to both the power wielded by Athena and the extent to which she sought vengeance against an undeserving victim. In the tragic tale of Medusa, her existence was condemned to a desolate half-life, forever burdened with the terrifying visage of a monstrous creature. Haunted by perpetual anguish, she roamed the world in constant fear and isolation. And yet, unbeknownst to those who pursued her relentlessly, Medusa remained an innocent victim caught in an unending cycle of suffering. Heroes sought glory as they relentlessly hunted down this fabled monster. Unfazed by her innocence and blind to the true perpetrators of injustice, they added insult to injury by subjecting Medusa to further victimization. Blaming her for circumstances that were not of her making, society stigmatized and dehumanized her reducing a once beautiful and virtuous woman into an abomination that had no place among humanity. In Greek mythology, the story of Perseus and Medusa is one that highlights this tragic fate. The tale revolves around the hero Perseus, who embarked on a perilous quest to slay Medusa. Determined to rid his land of this terrifying menace and prove himself as a true hero, Perseus set out on an arduous journey. He received helpful assistance in completing his mission thanks to divine intervention from Hermes and Athena themselves. Equipped with winged sandals granting him unparalleled speed and invisibility bestowed upon him by Hades' helmet of darkness, Perseus approached Medusa's lair with caution. Armed only with an adamantine sickle gifted by Zeus himself, a weapon capable of severing even immortal flesh, he prepared for battle against the formidable Gorgon. Perseverance fueled Perseus as he navigated through treacherous terrain towards Medusa's abode as she resided deep within a dark cave hidden among towering cliffs. Perseus found Medusa sleeping. He carefully looked only at the reflection of her in his shield, took out his sickle, and sliced off her head. From her severed neck sprang the winged horse Pegasus and the giant Chrysor. Perseus placed the head in a magical satchel given to him by Hermes. Medusa's head went on to help Perseus defeat many other monsters and enemies. Medusa did nothing to deserve being murdered by Perseus. He sought her out and slayed her in her own home. 
Trapped within this narrative crafted by ignorance and prejudice, Medusa became nothing more than an otherworldly entity, a grotesque aberration deemed fit only for destruction. The world refused to acknowledge that it was the evil deeds orchestrated by gods themselves which had led to her ruinous fate. In their eyes, she would forever be seen as less than human being stripped of agency or compassion. Medusa's plight serves as a poignant reminder of how victims are so often subjected to re-victimization, held responsible for crimes inflicted upon them without recourse or understanding from society at large. Her story stands as a haunting reflection on our collective failure to empathize with those whose lives have been shattered through violence. Upon scrutinizing the original details surrounding Medusa's fate, it becomes evident she was as much a tragic casualty of divine oppression as a fearsome gorgon. Her ghastly visage tells only half the tale as one must look beneath to find the blameless girl whose life and soul were destroyed by the unwarranted actions of others beyond her control. Medusa's myth reminds us that not all deemed villainous start out as such, and how the lines between perpetrator and prey can blur when the crimes of the powerful rain down upon the powerless. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe to Connect Paranormal. This will allow us to make more videos.